Hello, and welcome back to another video in the Curious Glasses. In today's video, we are still yet to continue our journey through Khan Academy programming Intro to J's Drawing and Animation. In today's video, we're going to be tackling this project called Fish Tank. I'm going to be giving you a few starter tips and just showing you how to go about this project. So without further ado, let's go on to this tutorial. Okay, so for starters, let's do the first step they've asked us. Create a custom function, like draw a fish, that draws a fish. You can build on the starter code or start from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a variable. Oh, and by the way, I'm just going to uh, build on the starter code. And if you want to build from scratch, then that's actually really creative. So congratulations to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a variable that draws the fish. I'm going to just call it draw fish. And this is going to be a function. And what this function is, is that everything inside this, everything that they've already done, well, we're just going to make everything they've done inside this function. And actually, if they've taught you how to do this, all you do is you just create an open curly bracket. And then on the last line with nothing in it, you just create a closed curly bracket and then a semicolon. And now we have our draw fish. But there's a slight problem. Why do we have this open and close parentheses? Where, well, we have to add something to it. And I'm going to explain that right now. OK, so the thing we have to add in this parentheses is the parameters that we want the function to, uh, or the parameters that's going to declare the function so that we control the position of the fish, the color of the fish, or just the size of the fish. So how we do that? is we use these words like um, center x, um, center y, center y, and then uh, body color. So body color. I don't know if I'm spelling it right. One second. Thankfully, I spelled it right. But all this is doing, and actually, we've already uh, done the uh, we've already completed the second task, which is to add at least two parameters to the function declaration that control either the position or the size of the fish. And we've actually done three. So that's actually a very good progress. What this is, is what we're doing is we're controlling the X position of the fish each time we um, draw the function or draw the fish. And we're also controlling the Y position and we're also controlling the color of the fish. So now we can actually differentiate every single fish when we draw it on our screen, which is pretty cool. But here's the thing. How do we actually execute this? Well, remember, all we do is we just do draw fish because that's our variable, draw fish. And then we're just going to add whatever um, x and y coordinate we want our fish to be in. And this is just going to be random parameters because I'm going to position it later. And now let's go ahead and do the color. Let's make the color much different. So color and hmm, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking, let's just say like, like a bit of magenta kind of. And all we do now, close parentheses, and then a semicolon. And oh no, well, we can see our fish, but it's kind of off the screen. So let's go ahead and move that, shall we? Let's move this a little bit to this side, because I'm thinking about making it in the top left. And then just increasing that Y coordinate, or decreasing, sorry. So there we go. Now we can see our fish clear. Let's do the third task. Now call that function many times with different values as arguments so that your screen is filled with fish. All we do now is we just uh, type in draw fish however many times we want. And we're just going to uh, change the center X or the uh, we're just going to change the X position, the Y position and the color of the fish. So let's go ahead and do that. Yay! Now our screen is covered with fish and they're actually Every single fish is differentiated from the other. Every single fish is in a different position, and some of the fishes are different colors from others. So that's how we did the three steps. Let's look at the fourth one, the bonus. Add more parameters to the function declaration, like color, tail width, eye size, tail color. More ways that you can make each fish different from each other. 
Well, if you noticed, we actually did three three parameters. So we actually already completed this bonus. If you want to go ahead and add more parameters, then you're completely free to, and I would totally suggest it. Uh, let's look, let's move on to the fifth and sixth. Add seaweed to the tank. Okay, so for the fifth and sixth bonus, I'm not going to do that in this video. But if you really want to see how to do that, then please comment down, and I will be sure to upload another video just explaining these two bonuses. But until then, I hope you can continue your journey through Khan Academy programming, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.